The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Asthma Day. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm the Daughter. Megan, what are we playing today? We are playing Waterfall Park. This is from Repost Production and Asthma Day. Yes, and we actually have a special guest joining us today because the game requires a minimum of three players. Yeah. So let's just get it to the table and find out who our mystery guest is. Okay. The game is played over four rounds, and each round we are going to be dealt a certain number of cards. Now, these cards represent the uh, properties that you see out on the board, and they are uh, numbered from 1 to 81. However, uh, there is no 78 and 79, which is kind of odd, but you can see on the card it's going to tell you the property number, and it shows you where it's at, so uh, if you have trouble finding out because... Of the waterfall that's in the middle there that uh, tells you where that's at the other thing we're going to do is we are going to be getting uh property tiles or or buildings that are going to be placed out on the ones that we own now we have these little frames that megan is showing off there and so when we have a number so like this one is number 46 and say that was megan's megan would actually place it on 46 to show that she owns that a block of land. And then on her turn, she could place a building there. Now, the buildings are going to range from sizes three through five, and that's the maximum size those can be. And it tells you at the very bottom of the tile, you can see this is a haunted house, and the haunted house maximum size is four. Now, the way we're going to score points in this game is through money. We're each going to start with five coins, and then at the end of every round, we're going to get income based on the number of uh, buildings that we have that are either incomplete or completed. So if they are incomplete, you can see we have a little track up here. So a size one gets you one, size two gets you three, size three gets you five, and a size four gets you seven. However, if you have them completed, then a uh, size three is going to give you six, size four gives you nine, and a size five gives you 12. You can see on the board over here that uh, this could be a layout that we have based on the cards that come out. Now, you can see it's going to be tough in order to uh, construct the buildings, especially of the sizes that we want. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be negotiating with each other. Now, we can offer up anything we want in trade. We can offer up the locations that are on the board. We can offer up uh, building tiles that we have in our hand. We can offer up coins if we want. Any combination of that. And just because I'm negotiating, say, with Megan, doesn't mean that mom can't come in and actually squeeze me out and give Megan a better deal. And then they can conduct a trade that way. So the game is really all about negotiations. After four rounds, whoever has the most money is going to be the winner. All right, so let's get ready to play. So during round one, we are going to be dealt seven of these cards. Now, the uh, little legend up there also tells us we are going to discard two of those cards. And when we discard those, they're going to go uh, be shuffled back into our uh, deck of cards that we have. It also says that we are going to get six building tiles as well on our turn. So we're going to be doing this simultaneously, looking at the property cards that we have in our hand and determining which ones that we want to keep. After we discard two, then everybody is going to reveal their cards and simultaneously place their uh, frames out on the property token or property tiles that they have. There's your six. Your six. All right, so everybody, I think, has got their uh, two discarded. So basically, you can reveal your cards that you have and go ahead and place your little frames out. I'm trying to do it one at a time so I make sure I get them all. I found that to be a decent strategy. I like the fact that there's little holes in the board with, mm -hmm. and little notches on the yeah, back of these. Seven and 18. Yes, you know. Center. Yeah. 
I think we're gonna be doing some trades. <laughs> we're totally Potentially together. Those cards. They go up here. Yeah, they I, know. I was just yeah. making fun. Seventy-five. Up here. Place that yep. Thanks. And then these cards are basically out of the game because mm -hmm. we've already claimed those. Okay. The only thing you can't do is once a building has been built, the building cannot be removed. However, the property that the building sits on can actually change hands. So now uh, in round one, we're each going to be given six property tiles. So we flip all those over. And this is where we start the negotiating. So, for instance, I have two bowling alleys, uh, an ice cream shop, a rooftop bar. Uh, we call this Build-A-Bear. And then I have a um, haunted house as well. And if you look at the board, yeah, you guys are all over there. I'm the only one that's on this side of the waterfall, which is kind of kind of odd. Um, Megan, I'll trade you 26 for 56. Yeah, that's good with me. And yeah, just like that, that trade. that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, nice, good trade. Um, Megan, would you like a rooftop bar for your bowling alley? Would Would you like a rooftop bar for your bowling alley? I have two bowling alleys already. Would you so. like to no, swap them? No, I don't think I want to do that. Mama's got ice cream. Mama, would you like ice cream for your bowling alley? Sure. That's going to give you a full set there. Mm-hmm. I'll would, give you... Would you like a rooftop bar for your Build-A-Bear? No. Okay. Would, can I have your rooftop bar and we swap these two? It doesn't really help me, though. But you could grow from here. Well, I could, but, you know, I'm not, you I'm, not in the, I'm not in the business of speculation at this mm. moment. So, I think I'm done. I think I'm done, too. Megan? Right. Any other deals you want to broker? Thanks, I don't think you're gonna. We're not gonna trade our carousels, are we? Yeah, so we're done. For the okay, moment. so once everybody concludes their negotiation, then we can place as many of our buildings out that we want. And if you can hear the neighbor's dog barking, I apologize. We're sorry. Poor doggy. Yeah, we put that down at 7 and 18. Yep, I will. Now, you can choose to place as many as you want or as few as you want, and you don't even have to place any if you don't want to. Do you have any you want to put over here, Dad? Um, I don't think so. Not at this time. I want to kind of see what's going on there. All right. All right. So now we move over to income, and uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll start with um, myself over here. So I have uh, a building of size two, which will get me three coins. So I basically just take three, and I place them face down because it is secret information. And that's all that I am going to uh, get for my income. Uh, Mom actually has a completed size three, so she's going to get six money. And then Plus you also money. have, uh, yeah. that's going to be worth another three. So um, ten nine total, total, or nine total. Six now. and three. I can't add. Um, Megan? Three. You get five. Um, I have two here for three, yeah. and then two singles, so five. Now, there are enough tiles that you can have two complete sets. So, like the bowling alley, its maximum size is five. So, that means there's 10 bowling alleys in the game. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, we're ready for the next round. Uh, Megan has already moved the marker and dealt us our I'm new cards. I'm here as the dealer. You are. Mm. You might have a, a career in Vegas. Yeah, possibly. All right, everybody's discarded down. So we can go ahead and reveal our cards. There's your six. There's your six. Two. And six. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How many of these are we supposed to have? Five. Okay, that's what I thought. Two. Right. After you've discarded two. That's what I thought. Six and eight. Okay. Two, 
And your buildings that you turned up um, in the previous rounds, they're going to stay turned up. That's public knowledge. The only thing it's not is how much money you have. All right, everybody's got their properties. Yeah, all right. So we flip up our new tiles there. All right, so negotiations are open. Um, um, Dad, you want to trade 62 and 75? Do I want to trade 62 for 75? No, I don't think so. It'd be hard for me to get through there. Okay. Do you, what will it take to get your... Um, <laughs> what will it take? Yes. My carousel? Yeah. And I want the carousel. Oh, okay. We have a bidding war. Mm -hmm. um, I would give you... Would you give me 51? Would you give me that? No. Okay. Mm. Um, do, you, do you want a bowling alley for your carousel? I have a bowling alley, too. Would you like a bowling alley in a movie theater? Ooh. I have a bowling alley in a haunted house. Oh. There's probably going to be one an extra round, but... Oh, yeah. We want to lock it in. Megan, you're giving me a bowling alley in a movie theater? I'll, I'll oh. Let's see. <laughs> I want your uh, carousel. I'll give you uh, 51 for it. Um, 51. Can I also have the haunted house? No. You don't want to get. Can me I have the carousel and your rubber ducky for these two? Well, you were just offering me those two just well, for that. I know, but now mm -hmm. I want the rubber ducky. <laughs> I tell you what, Megan, I give you my carousel and yeah. my rubber ducky. What do you want? Uh, and I'll give you thirty-eight. Yeah. For seventy four and sixty five. That's hard. I want seventy five. I want seventy five from you though. Yeah, but then you'd get I know. you'd have three together. I don't know, because I have to have three together up here too. I know, but you don't really have anything else special to offer. I'll trade you 38 and 74, but I won't give you 65. Oh, that don't help me much. I think I'm okay. You guys and have five your... points. And you would give I'll me five. The deal. So you give me. I okay. suck at this game, so I feel like I'm gonna lose. Okay, I'll just so so what? So what is your offer now? I want 38. You want 38 for 74. I will give you bowling alley. Movie theater and five points for your rubber ducky and your carousel. And five points. I'm trying to make it interesting for you here. All I right. know I'm gonna suck. All right, you know game. what? I, I will do that since you're <laughs> since you threw in points. So I will do that. I, I also have to point out too that uh, if you make future deals, you are not required to honor them. Mm. All right, so. Who's got, no one's got a clown yet. No, no circus no building clowns. jobs. Uh, does anybody have anything else they want to do? I'm good. Mama, you good? I'm good. All right, so <laughs> go ahead and build. All right, so everybody's done building. All right, so we're going to move to the income phase. Do income. So uh, just going down here, uh, Mama, you are going to get three, four, 
plus 9 is 13, plus another 3 is 16. There's your 16. Um, I will get 6, and 3 is 9, and 3 is 12, and I guess that's it. I've got 9, 5, so I've got 14. Okay. What do you got? Oh, could you? I've got a completed set. Oh, yeah, you do have a complete yeah. set. That's what I have. So, right. how many do we throw right. away this time? We're throwing away two still, but you get eight cards. Eight cards, all right. So, it does change in the later rounds. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead and place our frames out. Okay. Your little pile. So, there's little boy. Hey, there's a clown. Send in the clown. Mom's got a duck. Your duck. All right. Um, Mama, would you like a circus for a ghost for Hog House? I'll give you a movie theater for a circus. Oh, you, you need that circus, don't you? Give me a movie theater. I only have one movie theater. Do you want a bowling alley? No, I got all the bowling alleys I need. In fact, I've got one extra that I don't need. You can make two bowling alleys for the clown. Two bowling alleys for the clown to start another bowling alley. Um, I don't know, Mama. Are, are you not like a my teddy dude? bear? I don't have. <laughs> no I don't have bears. a teddy bear. I built all my teddy bears. I would really like that one of those ghosts though. Hmm. 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 I'll give you a bar for the clown, Mama. But then I need another bar. I'll tell you what, I will give you a circus and the bar for, uh, the ghost. for a ghost. What do you want? I want the, the circus. And I'll give you a bar. I'm giving you. I one. want the bar and this. A carousel. From you. You want a carousel? Where are you mm -hmm. going? Over here. Oh. I don't want your clown. You don't want my clown. Can you I trade you one. 55 for 65? Hang on, I'm working on this right now. I'm trying to get yeah. another deal going. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll do that. What do you want to give me now? Ghost. I'm giving you those. I want a ghost. All right. If you yeah. want to throw your other ghost in because you're not going to do anything with it, I'll take it too. No, not yet. Let me think. Can I have 55 and 65 and a clown? We flip these and I get a clown. And I'll give you a bar. So you can complete your bar. Okay, now what you want? What I want to flip these two, and I'll give you a bar if you give me a clown. So you complete your bar. But what's that gonna do for you? That lines me up here. All right, flip it and give me the bar. And what else am I giving you? The clown. The clown. All right. Okay. All right. So this gives me one thing, and I'll use that. And then I still need a carousel, but no one's got one. I, I gave you a carousel. I need another one. Yeah, I'll send duckies. Mm -hmm. Duckies. 
No bears. No bears. No. The bears. Still got one round out left. Okay. You all good? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and build. Build my, finish out my haunted house over there. Put my carousel down there, that'd be. Do you have a preference, eight or six? Eighties or eight, whatever, it's fine, it don't matter. Build my barn. Build my bar here. So build a movie theater here. Ice creams. No, I'm a complete mess. I don't need ice creams. Yeah, I got no ice creams. Yeah. You're locked in there because you got yeah. nothing else so to I'm put it to. Put that there. And that there. And. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do income. So uh, you have Megan yep. has an incomplete three. So that's five points. Yep. Is that all you have on this side? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Okay. So incomplete five. Incomplete two. So that's eight. Complete four, nine. Uh, so that's at 17. Incomplete three, it's five. It's 23. 22. 22. That's all right, uh, Mama, you are going to get one plus three is four. Uh, and you have this is complete, so that's going to be six. So you're at 10, um, 11, 12, complete six, 18, 18, and complete three, 23. And then I have an incomplete three, which is five. Another five is ten, plus a complete three. Uh, yeah, complete three there is sixteen, and a complete four is nine, which would be uh, twenty-five. And that's it. Thank you. Okay. Last round. All right, so Megan has already dealt us. So we're getting eight cards, getting ready to, and we're only getting five buildings. There's my two and three. Okay. There's your five. Right. There's your five. There's my five. All right, so let's go ahead and place our things down here. I will trade you the duck and you can get 81 or you can swap 71. What else you want? You want some movie theaters? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're, hang giving, on, hang on. you're giving up 71 for 81 and a duck and for what? Duck. What do you want? You want movie theaters? Hang on. <laughs> hey, you want to flip so you get your four there and I'll have, still have my three. Yeah. Mm. And I want a duck. And you want a duck. And I need this from you. You need this so, for me? Yeah, she needs her carousel. Um, I'll give you a ghost. Well, I don't... He's good on ghosts. I don't think I need... Because I don't have... Mm. I do have two there. Um, I really want a movie theater. I can give you a movie theater for a carousel. And then I'll give you the carousel. You give me a duck. Now, is this a math we'll trade? A three, we'll do a three-way trade. Here, wait a minute. You want a movie theater? I want a movie theater. I'll give you a movie theater for okay. your carousel. Um, what the heck? I, I will also... It's not what you want. I, so want, I want a duck. No, no, hang on. I can also trade you... Uh, I'll trade you two ghosts 
for 32 as well. I give you these three for your movie theater and spot number 32. What are you flipping me with for 32? I'm not. Just take it. I'm giving you three tiles and I'm getting a location and a tile in return. You could flip 32 and 44 if you really want. And then you could put one of your ducks there. Well, I'm putting a theater there. But I'm saying if you flip it, then her reds are... She could work with those reds there. Well, but I'm also... He wants thinking. Uh -huh. Or Megan, you said you wanted a carousel. No, I need a duck. You need the duck. I would have, I I would have given you a movie theater for the carousel, and then I would have traded the carousel for a duck. Yeah. Okay. So what do you want? I want a duck and the switch spots. I'll switch your spots for but what am I getting? I wanna there? what do you want? I don't want anything you want a movie theater? You want two. You got a ghost? Oh, you no, got I have no ghost. <laughs> what do you want in return? So what do you want? Okay. I, I want a movie theater. I get movie theaters. I want to get your movie theater. And, and I'll swap you 19 for 6. So swap those two. Fine. It's fine. Okay, so you get those. I get this. Because that gets me that one completed. So these are all completed. And then so, hang on now. Anybody got a ghost? No. Poo poo. Or bears. Did you get your bears? I got my bears. Yeah, nice. you got your I'm bears. trying to figure out. I can't do a ghost. Megan, you want a bowling alley for a theater? Sure. Maybe. Hang on. Maybe not. No, 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 no
I then completed three, which is five, so I'm an 11. Uh, 12 plus 12 is 24. And nine is 33. Um, 33 plus five is 38. I think that's it. Oh, that was, that was four. Let me redo that. Uh, cause I think I screwed up. So I have, right? One, two, three, four. So that's, so yeah. So that's seven and six is 13. 14 plus 12 is 26. And nine is 35. Uh, 35 and That's 35 and three is 38. I guess I did get it right. I like I shorted myself. Okay. All right. That's it. So yeah, that's it. So basically we're going to flip all of our coins and find out who has the most money. So it's 39. So, so 50, 60, 70, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88 points. You suck. I have 90. Do you really? Fuck. 20, 40, 60, 75. Is that right? 20, 75, 30, 80, 40, 85, 50. 90. Doggone it. Yeah. Two, what'd you have, Megan? 84. Oh, so it was close. It was very close. So, uh, how many times have we played? Uh, this was your second time playing. And how yeah. many times have I won? Yeah, this was your second time winning. You're the Thank champion. You. All right. So I guess mom gets the, what Chips. kind of trophy do you get? The, the waterfall trophy. You get a waterfall trophy. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't go chasing them. All right, so I, I don't know. Were you just so shrewd in, in what you, uh, you, you were being very I, laid back I in gave your away five points. To me, I would have won. Dan. Yeah, you gave, you gave me. it to Dan. I would never give away money. Oh, I would not have won. But I wouldn't got close. Would I would have eighty nine. I would never give away money. I suck at this game. Um, this, I think I make bad deals or I just get bad cards. I don't know. I haven't won yeah, yet. I don't know. All right, so now let's get to what we think. All right, um, now I played this game prior uh, to teaching you guys. You've also played it when it was a different version of this game. I did, I played the original Chinatown. Uh, I actually got to play this with a, a five player game last weekend. That seems uh, crazy. It is. How does that scale? So you have a different uh, overlay there. So you're gonna have different numbers of cards because and Because this is a full board with yes. three. And, yeah, and that's by design, so. Yeah. Um, uh, with five players, there was a lot of negotiations going on, a lot of deals that were being made. They got interrupted uh, by other people offering better deals. We had a little bit of that, not really a lot, um, but it's uh, you know five players is the max. So that was that he was would have won if you had took one of his deals when I said mm -mm. yeah. I'm like, you're just helping him, you're not helping yourself. I know, that's why I was hey, like, and that's part of the game. It's all about, you know, like, negotiation, even, persuasion. Even with my five points, though, I still want to beat I'm like, you. I'm like, don't even, because he's going to... I know. But uh, I, I really like the gameplay. It's very simple. Um, the negotiation part is really based on who you're playing with. Um, you guys both like Monopoly, and I, I kind of feel like this has a little bit of a Monopoly vibe. I don't know. You know, because you're, you're building, you know... Uh, like buildings, you are making trades because in Monopoly you're trading, you know, deeds. I feel like in other games, when it's just me and you playing, I feel like I'm better at making deals because I'm better at manipulating you into giving you what I the want. Jedi mind Yeah, tricks. and I don't know if it's because like mom's here. I feel like I'm not doing as well because now I got to worry about another person butting in. But mm -hmm. so, what do you think of the game? It's not bad. I think it's cool. Um, it's an interesting board layout. I think with you know. Them being in the grooves, the fact that like your little pieces fit in here, you know, I think that's interesting. 78 and 79. Yeah, that's. I don't know why they jumped. Why they just didn't make this 78 or just and 79. add another space here yeah. to make it an even 80. Like they could have put another space over there's here. There's some places they could have, and it just it it throws me off. Yeah, I don't know. 
That Mama? bothers me. Yeah, you, OCD, that it, bothers me. It does, me. yeah. So, like, I want to know. So we all had <laughs> two. two left. Yeah. Uh, so we used these, you know, these quite These pieces a bit. are fine. Like, you know, your little holders. I think it's nice that they give you those. I mean, you could have just put them in a baggie. Yeah, um, that may be a little overproduction, but, but I, I kind of like it. But also, like, this is still very thin plastic, yes. so you could easily... This reminds me from an 80s game. I don't know. It just reminds me of 80s. It, yeah. But, like, like you could easily crush 80s. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you're holding it or, you know, if you're being really you don't reckless. don't put the box back together correctly, like, it could snap. These could bend. Yeah, they're thin. Yeah. I mean, I think it's nice just to have, like, you know, to store. It. it fits nicely in the box. I think this is nice. But, again, it's not necessarily needed. Mm. Um, it's very rich. Yeah, but, but it's yeah. nice. And I want to show off the uh, the rest of the insert here, mm -hmm. too, so you can see you've got a place for all the uh, property well. tiles. Those fit well. Uh, here is the one that you're going to use for uh, four and five players. You can see it's mm -hmm. double-sided. Uh, for five players, you get four and three tiles. Yeah. You get What's that those. other little dot in there for? That oh, that was so inside of that. Oh, yeah, okay. Just kept it. Yeah. Uh, but the insert's it's nice. It's serviceable. Yeah. Um, just reminds me of an 80s game. What, what do you I think of know. the gameplay, Mom? It's fine. It's like Monopoly. Um, but I'm I'm more cutthroat where I'm like, no, you're not getting that. Yeah. Sorry. And, and that's a part of different. it. Yeah. But, you were saying earlier in between games, so you're like, I don't know about the negotiation. I just like being the person that tells you no. Yep. And I said, that's a strategy. You could be a jerk and just not take any deals. Yep. And just be like, well, screw you. No, thank you. I think, though, kind of like in Catan, you pretty much have to make deals. Um, to work yourself unless too. you just get so and lucky I, with all the numbers coming out right I next to each other I don't know if other. that's my flaw is I'm too worried about what I want to get down and then I'm like well I just want that so sure you can take whatever like yeah. you get so, focused on one run yeah, basically yeah I do you, I'm you like this is value. my set I yeah. want to get done you want yeah. that section of board yeah. and so you're going to do whatever you can to get mm -hmm. it that's why I'm like I know I'm probably not going to win but it was still close, yeah, point-wise. It, it was very close. What do you guys think of the art on the board and the tiles? I think it's fun. pretty. Yeah. I think it's an interesting amusement park. This doesn't look very safe, though. Um, there's no covering. It doesn't look like there's very good handrails. Looks like these people could just fall mm. off. Um, you know, these railings, too. Sally safety. They're, I mean, I've played enough Roller Coaster Tycoon where I've killed people in it. Um, pick them up and drop them places, let the roller coaster go off the track. So, you know, that's just not very safe. Yeah. Thematic wise, I don't know about building an amusement park on a waterfall. That's not safe. Either. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that the art is actually kind of cool. I think the art on the buildings themselves. You have an aqueduct. Uh, it is an aqueduct. It is. It's a water um, slide. I, I think it's very easy to, to tell what everything is. is. They distinguish them quite a bit. That yes. is something I'm going to kind of ding about. The, the thought counts but not well done in execution. Um, the video that was put out like as a game overview from the company is like, oh, hey, we have, you know, symbols for people that are colorblind. And it says so on the front page of the rule book, like here are the symbols for colorblind. I'm sorry, I cannot tell what these symbols are playing. They are so small on these little things. They look like they're part of the plastic mold. Um, they're just itty bitty little things. So that's very hard to see. If you are colorblind and can't tell. So, yeah. like, especially the circle, like, it looks like it's just part of the little mold. And, if, you know, the square, I thought at first, I was like, oh, that's just how they popped out of the machine. Not realizing, oh, that's how you can tell. Well, I the have, like, blind. a star, and the blue is kind yeah. of a square, but they're very similar. It's, it's hard to see, see though. Yeah. So, I mean, thought that counts great. I'm glad that y'all are trying for the inclusiveness of colorblind people. Um, but it's a struggle if you are not colorblind and, you know, if you're looking for those symbols. So I can imagine that would be harder if you're already having that vision yeah. impairment. One of the things I really like about this is I like the tactile feel of the, um, you know, the, the plastic markers for your property and your uh, buildings and placing them in there. I, mm -hmm. That's just me, but I kind of like that, uh, yeah. that aspect. Your, your coins are, you know, thick cardboard. Um, yeah, you can clearly fine. tell what the numbers are on them. Um, we, we had a debate if it's a W or an M on the coins for M for money or W for water park. It's w for water yeah. park. But it could be M for money. I don't know. I'm gonna or it go could be M for Megan. <laughs> they could have made this with me in mind. It's not all about you. I can <laughs> keep telling you in life. But I'm going to go with W with the lines going across the top. Yeah, and I yes. pointed this out when I was talking about how the, you know, the 
the overview of the game. I do um, like that on the card. How, how it, it tells it you does the show you where it's at. If so what side of the board it's on. Exactly. I think that's nice. Because you do have the waterfall, you know, breaking it up and. And with uh, two random numbers missing, you know. Yeah, I still that's that's, it, that's, that's the odd. biggest baffle about the game. But I really enjoy this game a lot. I do like that your your guides are very easy to tell, like you know what it is. And it plays fast. I mean, yeah. those four rounds, other than you know the time spent during the negotiations, you that's know, your longest period of time. Figuring out which cards you're going to keep and and which properties you're going to keep, you know that's goes boom 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 mm -hmm. uh, and then you know you get your tiles and then you start your negotiation you know like i said that's where a majority of your time is spent but uh any other closing thoughts you guys have on the game it's fairly accessible all right i'm, people I'm giving this game two thumbs up because i really like the the speed of the game and i like the simplicity so do you think this overlay design is better than chinatown since you um, said it's similar. I, I, I've only played Chinatown once, and that was over a year ago. Uh, so I'm not remembering a lot about it. I do know that it might have had some stereotypical things. Is it politically correct, you mean? Uh, that mm. could be. Um, and I know that the board layout was, was different. Instead of basically having two sides, I think you had uh, streets that divided mm. it up. So that might have made things a little different. Megan? what's uh what's your final thought on this um i think it's a good game it's not like my favorite game um but i mean i think it's a good game for family for even non-gamers it's relatively easy to pick up um i think the negotiation aspect is what's going to get people probably into this and you know kind of like you said with monopoly i think it's a similar enough concept where it's like oh if you screw like negotiating yeah. yeah that's really what it comes down to it's a screw that neighbor game and yeah. i personally like that well so. of course you do you know. so i gave it two thumbs up what do you give it I give it one. It, okay. It's just, it, it's a good game. It's not one I would probably reach for, though, necessarily. Yeah. Uh, Mom, what do you think? What would you give it? I guess I'll give it one and a half. Oh, so more than Megan. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. But, you know. I, I find it fun, like I said, and the fact that it, the game moves fast. And mm -hmm. it's the negotiation, so it really depends on who you're playing with. So your experience can vary. All right, so that is Waterfall Park from Repost Production and Asmodee, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click that like and subscribe button. You can also follow us on social media like Facebook. And Twitter at Dad and Daughter. And if you like what we do and you want to support us, you can visit our Patreon page. So thanks for watching. Thanks.